I yeah. love historical fiction. Rough Riders, it's actually Teddy Roosevelt putting the Rough Riders together, but not the Rough Riders that we learned in history. Right. The, his Rough Riders has Annie Oakley in it, Harry Houdini. Um, right. right, and they... Names that you know. Right, right, and, and, and they put them together because there's actually aliens or something that's coming. You know, I mean, so yeah. it puts a little sci-fi twist yeah. on it and stuff. I, I'll read any... I'm a sucker for any of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Any historical fiction. Manifest Destiny is another book. It's got decent art, but okay. um, it's Lewis and Clark going on their tour, going okay. across America with Sacagawea. Yeah. But um, they have... Um, they're writing. They got two journals that are going on. They got the journal that they're writing for the public to know, and yeah. the journal that the president has to know what's going on. Because as they're going further, further across, they're they're finding monsters and like minotaurs and yeah. all this stuff. But as it's as they're going across, they're writing this down. But they're systematically killing off everything too, to to make it to make it safe. So the world never knows about it. But this group of this group of people, yeah. they know about it. But they took all the dregs of society to work for them. Yeah. Um. And they says, and most of them were either traitors or you know they were in the military, but they're they've been kicked out or they're in jail. And they says, here's 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 your deal. You go with Lewis and Clark, you make it across. They they're going to the they're going over. They're making it to the West Coast. Mm -hmm. You survive. What goes on? You're free. And they're like, okay. yeah, they're they're, they're okay. okay, but they are the dregs of society where you pretty much hope most of them die before they make it across. And uh, so far, a lot of them have, you know, but uh, Suicide Squad, but yeah, yeah, but but back. It, right in the yeah. 1700s, you know, yeah. it's uh, a four issue uh comic on Judas, yes, and it's a guy that he like he grew up. Catholic. Have you been reading it at all? I have the first two, my yep. comic book shop failed me and stopped ordering. <sighs> Them for me. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sold out of the last two issues too. You know, as it's, I've uh, been driving past, like I, if I see comic book shops like pop yeah. up on my map, I'm like, I have to go check and see if they have yeah. it. It didn't sell very well. That was that was one right. of the things. Was, you know, it's uh. So I ordered light, and yeah. I saw, and I and I and you saw, yeah, did, yeah, yeah, and sometimes it's the same thing for the Amory Wars because it's a small like they're not they don't put one out every month. Yep. The, it's oh, it, they started putting out the comics that go with, All right, have a good uh, one. with Good Apollo and Burning Star 4 at the same time that they started their last tour. Mm -hmm. And they did what they call a never ender. So they played the whole album start to finish. Uh, they had a tour variant cover that you could only buy at the shows, which I have the first one. Yep. And like, nerds went, like, Coheed nerds went nuts on the internet. <laughs> and, like, you'd have people from different cities, like, okay, I'll buy six copies, like, we'll all, we'll, you know, six different cities, we'll each buy six copies and send them to each other so everybody has the tour variant covers if you couldn't get on their pre-order list. But a lot of places, too, like, they sell, they buy the first, whatever, issue or two, see how it sells. If yep. it doesn't sell, they don't have it. But, like, I LARP, and one of the LARPs that I play is a post-apocalyptic zombie LARP and has a religion that's based on music. Uh -huh. Well, you, if you want to pick one artist, they have to have a significant enough discography, and kohe has got, like, eight albums out so far. So we're like, all right, we're going to do that. So my character is actually based on one of the comic book characters. So, like, I'll buy every single one that comes out. Right. I'll buy all of the issue. Like, if you can get me multiple cover variants, I'll buy them because I love the artwork. I don't get that same kind of drive into the story and like the whole surrounding everything when it comes to Spider-Man and the Hulk and everything else, unless I want to go back and watch a lot of cheesy TV yeah. <laughs> cartoons or live action, especially the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot, been a lot of cheesy stuff that's been done with that, but some, some people got into comics and, yeah. and they create a world and other stuff that goes with it and that's what I really yeah. that's what I really enjoy plus there's so much history when it comes to some of the staple superhero characters that how am I going to go back and catch up on all of that right right how am I ever going to read every Spider-Man or every Superman but, but you see that's what I that's out? what I tell that's what I tell you can't most people <laughs> right well, that's what I, but that's, that's what I try to tell that's what I try to tell most people who right but I have to work right but that's what I try to tell <laughs> most job. that's what I try to tell most people though with with these superhero with these superhero books though, there's no need to have to go back because stuff changes enough, progressively changes enough that you yeah. start today on something, yeah. you read three or four issues, yeah. you're gonna figure out 
yeah. what the character's about. And as it goes on, yeah. you're always learning who the character is. That yeah. if And every so often they'll say, hey, you remember this happened in issue 132? Well, they're on issue 600 now, yeah. right? I probably haven't read issue 132. Right. Um, and you go, I take your word for it. Yeah. And you just and you, and you move on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and with, Maybe with... you Google it. Yeah. Oh, you can Google yeah. it. Right. I mean, I'm 50 years old. Yeah. So we're a couple gener different generation. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 you're a lot younger than me. Yeah. Um, so um, I find with the younger generation, yeah. the thinking is, oh, I have to go back from the beginning to get all this. Yeah. Um, back when I was collecting comics as, as a kid and even as a teenager and stuff, yeah. um, I'm starting to read books and they're already on issue... 175. Right. Um, there's no way of ever going back to uh, to, to ever find that because there weren't even any comic shops at that time that were even in any of these areas. There were very few. There may have been one in Boston or something. You know, it's uh, so you picked up the book, and eventually, again, after two or three things, you figured out what was going on, yeah. and then once you read it and you read it, you learned the whole history because they always recapped something somewhere, and and they still pretty much. Do it now the same the same way that you pick up a book, you read a few issues. Hey, I know I know what this character's about. I know I know this, and you just learn. You just learn. You just learn some more stuff as it goes on. But they do so many different. Uh, how you doing? They do so many different reboots yeah. um, and whatnot that it's even easier now because some of the stuff that I read as I was a kid mm -hmm. doesn't even count anymore. So yeah, if you picked it up, it, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's. Yeah. Uh, but no, but I get it. It's easier with. The newer, the independent stuff, especially self-contained yes. series. Yes, yeah. yep, most of it's self-contained. You yeah. know, it's uh. And maybe that's why I like those better coming from someone who spent. I mean, I spent my whole life with my nose in a you know print book mm -hmm. with no artwork in it. Maybe it's easier for me to wrap my head around something that's a, so a self-contained smaller series than it is for me to look at like, oh my god, there's 50 years of history right. with this comic. How can I ever have a clue what's going on? We'll say Saga, for instance. Yeah. Good book. Yeah. But I can't pick that up at issue 30 and really know what's going on at all. Yeah. I mean, the, that is that is actually something made that you have to you have to read from the beginning. From the, from the very beginning, Walking Dead is, is the same way. Yeah. You know, here's a book that's been out for twelve years now, or whatever. Um, yeah, you can pick it up now and read it. Yeah. But you You're don't better off going for the trades and yeah, going yeah. The because because you don't know because you don't understand what any of these characters are in Walking Dead. I mean, if you read it now, none of these characters are the same at all from the beginning. They've all changed. They've all developed. They've yeah. moved on. Um, which is good. It's a. It's like. It's like real life. You know. You've. You've. Yeah. You progress. But you actually have to read some of that stuff from the beginning. And then. And, th and that's a tough thing for something that's been out for thirteen years. Hey, do I pick this up now, or do I have to get thirteen years worth of stuff now? So right. they're almost falling into the same thing of how you feel like with Spider-Man or whatever. Man, do I have to go back fifty years and yeah. read this? You Maybe know. For it's, some of them, I'm at the right time picking them up at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. Where it doesn't have. I'm at the beginning of this potential long. The long line of, of storytelling, but I'm not looking backwards right. at it. Right. I'm, okay, this is this is end. where I start, and right. this is where I this is right. where I go. Like the Wicked and the Divine, I've picked up the the trades, and I read those because I think it's an interesting story. I think mm -hmm. it's an interesting concept. Like I grew up reading, you know, Piers Anthony, um, the Incarnations of Immortality. So this idea of like reincarnated gods or a, a taking these epic mythic figures and making them human that I really like. Yep. So for me picking up the I think there's five trades out so far. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Right. That was a great like my car was getting fixed. There was a comic book shop down the street. I went in, picked up the first three, sat down, read right. them. By the time my car was done like four hours later. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine I, I don't know. Could you pick the, but you can't pick up Wicked and Divine at volume four and start reading. Nope. You'd be totally lost. You'd have no idea what's yeah, going on. Yeah. Yet. You would know because there's no, they don't, they don't call back. They don't reintroduce characters. They don't, they'll have little flashbacks. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Not enough for you to understand. Not enough no. for you to understand. Hell, I was reading some of Wicked Divine. That wasn't something I was into. Yeah. But even at the beginning of it, I was yeah. confused of what was going on. Yeah. You know, you know, it's, yeah. uh, so, so with that is, I can't picture anyone picking that up. Hot way in no. and reading it. You have no. to. You have to pick it up at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. 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 The girl that was working in the comic book shop that I had wandered into and was in like was in Brooklyn. Um, hey. We were talking and I was, you know, we just started talking about books and other stuff because I told her, you know, I'm 
she uh, she asked if I had a subscription box if I was there to pick anything up. Yeah. I said no, I'm not here to pick anything up. I'm just kind of poking around, and she was like, oh okay. It's like it's you know I'm completely out of my wheel. There's your stuff, Jason. Thank you. Yep. Um, and she asked what kind of books I read, Five, and she suggested The Wicked and the Divine. She suggested Saga. She suggested a couple of other things that were either a little dark. Like Jessica Jones can be a little bit dark for me. Mm -hmm. I have to be in the right mood. Yep. To read to read that, or God knows, to watch the show. Yeah. See, that, it's funny because that was that's Jessica Jones, the first series, is my favorite Netflix Marvel yeah. show. Yeah, that was my favorite. I love my it. Favorite show. I can't binge it. Yeah. I can watch like an episode or two at a time, and then I yep. kind of have to like, all right, I need to go do something that makes me smile. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's yeah. definitely dark and kind of depressing. You know, it's uh, it, it definitely it definitely is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what? It has been awesome talking to you. You are very busy. I have somewhere to be at. Ah. Do you mind being on our tape? No. He probably will. Yeah, it'll probably finish him. It'll be like anybody else. That shouldn't be late. You know, it's like this. Come on, come on. You gotta go with the guy who's Watch Glenn not have it. 46, that's the one of the ones I got. I like his baby. And. You see? <laughs> you see my luck, man. He has 348. He doesn't have 347. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's time for the little. I don't think it's. Oh, that's when he starts. I like a couple of years. No, that's after the. Yeah, he's missing 350. Yeah, I like the clothes. He's missing 350. Excuse me. So. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Ooh. And Darkhawk. Have you noticed that there's a huge hype for Darkhawk? I like Darkhawk. Darkhawk was nice. I like them. I'm gonna get these now before I get sold out. That one. I'm looking at that one. I have 317. That's when he put me on with from here. And I saw that. I saw the price tag, and I was like, Ah, give me a little bit. I got some bills to pay. So. That's the first. Venom makes a cameo, I think, at the end of that one. Really? Is that three ninety eight? Yeah, at the very end of that one, I think he makes like a. Okay. It's, like, it's just like his first cameo, like in the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot! Glenn, how much is this? Go back to two. Twenty bucks. I need this. I actually saw this online, and I said it's plastic. That's what I like. Yeah. So I have a lot of um. You can set it in water. Really? No wait. Are you fucking with me? He's messing with me, right? Yeah, he is. Look at his face. It's not waterproof. Well, I know you can't put water on the top of it, but the bottom has got to be a no. base. It's well, it probably um, can. The way it folds up. Yeah. It probably it's, like if um, it's got a seam around it. If oh. you're taking water in, it'll probably hold up for a little bit. But it, let's take your box, your bin. We'll put it down, and we'll just start filling up your cell with water. <laughs> we'll see how how high it has to go before it starts going into yeah. the box. You've got them in bags and boards anyway, so it's, oh, yeah. you know, you'll be that'll, fine. That'll protect them. Yeah. <laughs> this book is dope. This is a really nice book. Look at that. This got, is a I gorgeous my, book. I mean, Great I Hulk. Stuff coming in this week. this book is fire. Like, Holy crap, it's that in. That is fire. I want that book so bad. Bro. Today, but I'm, I'm gonna nah, gotta wait. That's been there no, for a little while. Like, it's been there you for a little while. You take everything and just, just open you know, it up. Something you know, something calls you. you, you whatever you walking by, keep walking by. And eventually it gets sold. And then you go into depression. I'm never going to show up again. You want to leave your room. Like That's what's going to happen with that book. Guaranteed. I mean... Don't ever ask me any about who would be good for a cast of this. I don't. I don't look. I don't look into it enough. I don't look into it or care enough of who they're going to cast. When they say we're going to cast somebody, okay, that's who it is. Yeah, I, I never. I never look ahead and say, oh, you know who would be great in this movie. Don't think that far ahead into the movies. Don't think enough of movies um, where that's even important. Where that's even important to me. You know, it's uh, whoever it is, and it is because. You say you know you're saying oh this guy should be cast this should be hey, I don't I don't work in Hollywood okay so I've got I've got no say so I don't even need, I don't even have to waste my time thinking about it. Warner Brothers released DC's numbers for Justice League. Justice League is the uh, smallest grossing film they've ever done. Batman really? vs Superman made more. How about less than Green Lantern? Uh, le I, I'm not sure about Green Lantern. People were hyped for Green Lantern. It wasn't until it came out that they realized how much it uh. sucked. Justice League, they kind of I mean, I get, I get the Batman and Superman yeah. made more because no one knew it sucked until the first until week it came out. Yeah. So, I mean, everyone went and saw it with, with, with that was psyched for yeah. it, already pre-bought their tickets and I, stuff, I, and then realized, was, well, this is a piece I, of crap. I, yeah, it was, you know, I mean, Suicide I... Suicide Squad did better than, did better than, uh... I think so. I'm Justice not, I'm League. not... I'm I mean, not, I, I read that, too. They said that it was, like, the worst performance. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm one sure, of the, I'm one of the guys that actually enjoyed Suicide Squad. I, I, I liked it. It was fun. a fun. It was yeah. Fun. It was a fun movie. It was a fun yeah, movie. yeah. It was just a fun movie. Um, I I went for two hours of mindless entertainment and, and got it. So that, see, that, that's what it's. That's why I come here. That's <laughs> <laughs>
That's what you do. You know, when you go to these movies, you just turn your brain off and right. enjoy. A lot of people don't do that. I've been. Well, in I like movie. when you come here too, because if I'm having a bad day, I think of, wow, his is probably worse, and I feel good about myself. So you, you actually helped me too. When, uh, when I went to go see, I forgot what movie it was. I think it was Age of Ultron or Iron Man Two, I think, or Three. When I walked into the theater, there was a guy who had a little backpack. He <laughs> pulls out comic books. And everybody was like, you know, my, my girlfriend at the time was, she was getting upset because he kept taking his light, his phone, and shining on it as he's, and he's going back and forth, going back and forth. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And I'm like, oh, he's trying to, to find, like, you know, that's just stupid. Stuff out. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, dude, just turn your brain off, man, and enjoy right. it. Like, why are you, like, you know, so. Because half these books aren't, aren't going by. They're not going, by, going by, by. They, the they change anyways. things, right. you know. And I'm like, it doesn't take a, a it, you know, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure that out. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, I was. Well, there like, are a lot of dopes right. in the world. There's a lot. There's a lot of dopes. In the I mean, world. sometimes I'm a dope too. No, but... no, man, you're the you're the fountain of knowledge. Come on, brother. Fountain of misinformation. Yeah, misinformation. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, yep, that was that. But I'm I'm definitely. Definitely looking forward to Infinity War. Did you get your tickets yet? No. <laughs> I would never pre-buy a ticket to a movie. Once. He's going to a 31-hour marathon. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, buy, I pre-buy tickets to a concert because it's there for one day and one day only. You yeah. need to buy your tickets in advance. <laughs> I don't pre-buy tickets to movies. It's going to be there for a month, you know? It's, that oh. one's going to be there for a while. Yeah. Oh. It's, like, it's going to be there for yeah. a long time. Hey, were these yours? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, those and those down over down. there. I'm sorry, I have them scattered all over That's all right. I'm looking for a this specific Deadpool book. This is a like. bad. This is a bad choice of books. Which ones? But Ice Cream Man. Who reads this book? You do. I don't. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a good book. Um, <laughs> let me show you. I'm looking. It's a baby Deadpool book. Oh yeah, I know that one. Uh, it is. You know, Whittle Waddle. Uh, Piddle. Uh, I think so. It's it's that one. Yeah. One today. Okay. I don't know yeah, if you've yeah. seen that in here or if you have it stashed somewhere. Time, He's been looking for that for the longest time and he can't find it, poor bastard. I wish I had it because it's a thousand dollars. What? Really? Yeah, it's a thousand. That's a thousand dollar book. Holy shit! Okay. That's, that's they only made. They only. They they, they only made fifteen hundred of them. Oh yeah. yeah. Screw that. Okay. Really? No, it's not real. I'm looking at the same picture he told me. I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm making. I'm just making this shit up. Oh. You know? <laughs> First of all, you don't li you weren't listening to me while I says I don't even remember this book at all. And now I'll say, oh yeah, it's a fifteen hundred. You know, they made fifteen hundred copies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a Thanos variant. Oh, okay. And a Thanos variant and a Hulk, a Weapon Hulk, a Weapon H variant. That came out already, Weapon H. Yeah, it's right there on the new this week rack. Where? On the W. I'm this shit's, in, this shit's in alphabetical. It's Lost. pretty crazy how it works. Yeah. W is near the oh, bottom of the rack. Oh, like, have any more variants, Glenn? Like no. Or no? Nope. Not. Only Mark has the rest of them. Who's that? Mark Nera, the guy who buys the whole oh, box. Oh, he books. comes yeah. in with the... With the yeah. 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 There's boxes over there. We can read it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I actually yeah. have one that I ordered online um, from Unknown Comics. It's uh, their own. They have their own drawer and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I have one of those. You want? You should have got it from me. You want the Comic Book Palace ver variant of it? Yeah. Come All back right. in a few hours and it'll be done. I'll sign. I'll just sign it. <laughs> 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 I'll throw a mustache. I'm yeah, yeah. I've been waiting variant. for yeah. this book, actually. It'll be a one of one. I guarantee it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I guarantee it. I'll take this one. This book has been calling me for too long, and I'm taking it today. Screw it. See, I, I'm, I'm one of those people. Now you got a hole in the wall, I'm sorry. Now i got to put all this back. Damn. Well, you can't put anything back. You've already pulled it. You gotta buy it now. That no, nah, no, nah, 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 I can't. Nah. <laughs> Maybe you know, put it back where it belongs. Well, you know what's gonna happen is now, I'm gonna put these back, and someone's gonna come in and buy it. Either awesome. they're gonna come in and buy it, or Glenn is gonna say, "I'm just taking them home because I can. I'm the owner of the store." Oh, babe, I have them at home already, but I might just take them. You might just, just, just the next because time you look, they're not just, there, and I can laugh at you. <laughs> just because, exactly. <laughs> so let me. Uh, 348. No. Put them back in the right spot. That, that's, check. That, that's what I'm doing. Because if they're not in the right spot, I'm definitely taking them out and hide and and and. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Look at that. Oh, 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 that cool. is dope. oh, okay. It'll just be a, a trade. This is a trade oh, paperback. This is really nice. Okay, I don't have, I don't have it. All right, I was gonna say, I haven't seen. I go. There I, is I go no ahead. defects on this. Oh, okay. I thought it was something new. This. If I was yeah, to get this graded, this would come back as an easy like. Oh, okay. Maybe eight point six. Yeah. You took a fifty dollar book, but you took you put six dollars in back. I'd rather I'd rather have the whole full and. No. We'll put the $6 book in the hole. That's what I was going to say. You put the $6 hole in the ball. Yeah. <laughs>
You don't have to apologize for taking something off the wall. I'm more than happy. For, I'm more than happy for you yeah, to take this it off is, the wall. This is, you have to apologize if you take it yeah, off and I think it's um, paying for it. It's inspired by it. This is what it's all about uh, right here. It's Seagull. It's going into it's your really, LCS, local comic store or shop, of, uh, and getting the book. You know, this book has been there for a long time. That's what I like. This is definitely a, a must. Must get. So. Yeah. This is going yeah. in that. <laughs> for sure. That's a dope cover, man. I'm coming back for that. That'll be next week's purchase. Maybe tomorrow I'll come back when I get paid. Like you can relate to that one. And I liked him better when he was big ass tongue coming out. I liked him better when he was the villain rather than the anti-hero. Yes. Yes. You know, when it was psychotic and he brought to all the other rules in Spider-Man's brain. Yes. And I hope that they do not make Venom that's coming out this October. He was good. The anti-hero. I don't want. I want it to. You can't have the lead in the movie. Yeah. Be a bad guy. Eddie Brock was fueled by his hatred for Spider-Man because of the whole thing. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you. Proved yeah. one of his stories false and destroyed oh, yeah. his career. Yeah. And then Venom, the Venom symbiote was was just mad because you know Spider Man rejected him. Okay. So that's why they hated him. But yeah. now you got all these other people. They're just psychotic. You know, like carnage. I mean, yeah. I hate yeah. carnage. He's just a psychotic murderer yeah. with, a, with a suit. Speaking of that, I'm looking for Spider Man three sixty. He won't have it probably. It's the first appearance of Carnage. Uh, 358. 360. Come on. Nope. Nothing. 364. That's my luck. Right there. I'm looking for yeah. the first appearance of Carnage. Yeah, well, you, 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 you blew that a long time ago. I mean, we we had them on the wall forever. No, stop. Did, See? The See? Yeah, we had the whole series on the wall, but oh you didn't buy God. it. It's going to be a Venom movie that could be cut. That's when everyone you just walked by it, walked by it, walked by it. It's your own fault that you don't. That it's not there it's anymore. Not, yeah, and same thing with that giant gap you have with Venom. It's gone. Everybody yeah. buys everything. Yeah. If you keep on looking and saying, I'll wait till another day, I'll wait till another day, then months and months pass. That's why I'm buying this yeah. now. Right, then months <laughs> and months go by, and you go, why isn't it here? Well, because shit sells. Yep. I almost want to feel bad for you, but I don't. The first thing I said when I when I was when he was recording was the name of the game is first come first serve. So I gotta stand by my own statement. So Miss Abigail. Oh, that's that's wow. Yeah, I don't know why. It's something about I love. This automatically makes you curious, like what the heck? How the heck did the Wolverine let himself get like that? It's simple. That one was cool. So let's turn into the brood. Yeah, this is nice. This is dope. Some good stuff. All right, well, I think I'm good. That's seventy four dollars, seventy five dollars worth. Of. Nowadays, um, we've hit a point where a lot of girls would rather have their boyfriend stay home, read comic books, play video games, and just hang out instead of being out in the street with their phones on. <laughs> well, either he you has know? a letter into the basement or he has so, to out of the basement. <laughs> so that's why a lot of, like, a lot of my my my, my female yeah. friends that. They know me personally. They say that. Some of them tell me that. Like, I wish my boyfriend was like that. I wish he had that type of hobby that he, you know, he'd rather stay home on a Friday night with a comic book with me or whatever than be out with his friends getting drunk and going clubbing or whatever. Nerds. It's a win for the nerds. That's what it is. So, <laughs> we win at the end of the day, boys. Yeah. All right. Yes. That's an awful parking job. Oh, thank you. I've been driving for about 45 minutes. You just got a license? You never driven before? The two lines that go straight like this? Yeah. The car is supposed to park straight in between yeah. them. Very Not good. on an angle where you're over into one and over another. So right. when you're going for your license test, yeah, yeah. don't park like that because they won't give it to you.